Welcome everyone to Lubbock, Texas. Jones AT&T Stadium where their tortillas will be flying in celebration and in support of their beloved Texas Tech Red Raiders. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils taking on the 23rd ranked team in the land, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. 48 Sports. He's gonna pass. Works the middle of the field. When you have a conference as deep and balanced as this Big 12 is, it's important to get off to a quick start in conference play. Yeah, you're going to be challenged each and every week here in the Big 12 Conference. Since they've expanded, the quality of this conference has gotten so much better. So, David, big challenge here to make sure mentally your mind is right starting the season off today. Yeah, I mean, to make your dreams come true, it starts one game at a time, the old cliche. But the Big 12, year in and year out. So many different teams that can beat you. So many different teams that can put points up on the scoreboard. You've got to start fast in Big 12 play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's looking deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they fight. On second down, wants to throw. Makes the grab. It's scattable. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good ex. They give it to him again. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Takes it from the gun on third down. Using the quick game. Tackle is made after the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. They go to the ground. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils! The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. Going up top on first down. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Great job on the back end in coverage. DB staying in the hip pocket of the target and was able to swat that ball away. Wants to throw on second down. 
Firing to the right, complete. And frankly, if that's a completion, it's not going to make the end of season highlight reel. But in this game, it could lead to a highlight reel type play. The offensive coordinator may be setting something big up for later in the game. Makes a connection. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. They have set the tone in this one already inside a minute to play in a wild first quarter. Here's the handoff. At the 45 on his way. That is exactly what you want to do with the football. He's got it all the way down to the 15-yard line. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. The Sun Devils have this offense rolling. The give to the single back. <sighs> Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Balls at the 13. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the run, it's Scatterbo. Here it is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona State. Defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Smith. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing oh, first downs oh, together oh, like oh, this oh, makes oh, it hard to defend. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Looking for a productive play on first down. Wide receiver shows motion. He wants to throw it. Fires to the wide out. On target over the middle. And tackled there by the defense. And the offense here dialed up a really good... Coming out on first down with the play fake. The quick out. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And the Sun Devils looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job for him to He'll try to pop the draw. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. This is one of the top 10 offenses in the nation in getting first downs. To do that, you got to have balance. You can't always throw for it on third down. You've got to be able to run it as well. 
and they've got a dude in the backfield who just knows how to move the chains. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really... Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Got it in the middle, it's Scatterbone. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. And that's why as a defense you want to set up. He'll start this drive firing. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short in the first down. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play. And here they come again. Good timing on the quick out. They make the stop at the sweet rolling catches. Plenty to give them a first down. But we see another catch by this guy. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. Getting that push. A pickup of four out to the 26. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. And the quarterback is snowed under. And this is a defense that I think is really feeling themselves right now, especially after some of the... They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And after the explosive run, giving this offense a little bolt of energy, he steps out of bounds with a first down. I love this type of play because it looks like a jet sweep. The defense, they're a bit confused pre-snap. They don't know who has the ball. And all of a sudden, that guy with his speed is in the second level of the defense before the defense even knows what happened. That's the way you get things going. A huge play and now attacking from just inside the red zone. Gets it out quickly. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. That big pickup. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. He's got it down to the one-yard line, right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming down. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. And they swarm him under. And this is tough. Second half of the game, you're down by three. You know a field goal's going to tie it, but this is a golden opportunity here, David, to take the lead. I think I'm going for the touchdown. Green light. I'm going for it. Second half, man, I can take the lead right here. I like my chances, and even if I miss, I got to go the whole length of the field. The decision to go for it, no. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Gets it out fast. And more yards after contact. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. You can work your way down the field with these wide receiver screens, but also look for the opportunity to turn them into chunk plays later. No doubt. You throw it quickly. You get it to him now. DB comes up, has to make And he intercepts it. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off.
They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. And another mistake from this quarterback. That's back-to-back -back drives now, and it resulted in interceptions. He's got to find a way to find something different, get in a better rhythm, start seeing the field better, Palmer, because he's not in a flow right now. No, David, it looks like he's forcing the football a little bit, maybe trying to make up for that interception he threw. From the gun to give, looking for room. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball game? He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this detail. He'll do it himself. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. This defense really has their hands full, guys. they got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of screw his way and get some positive yards. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through him. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, Next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. And it is flat. Missed him. Sometimes you see a guy, he's open, and you try to baby it too much. And it was a bad throw. And here comes the offense on second down. Quickly complete. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little... He wants to throw. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. And sometimes you see great shooters, and they get on fire, and they just can't miss. And that's what this QB looks like the last couple of weeks, man. Just completion percentage through the roof, running the offense at an elite level. You can tell in complete control of this offense. The Sun Devils will line it up on first and ten. Quick completion on the out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Makes his connection. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. And he just continues to put up. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Got it! How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Oh, he 
he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they missed an opportunity for a nice play on first down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got his man quickly. What's well, important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. They'll throw it on first down. He's got it. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Quick strike complete. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. I think you got to try to win it here. Don't run the risk of going to overtime. Throws to the tight end. He's got it. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Some might say you're not a one-trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosive.